Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. So yesterday you made a big announcement that you were stepping down from the Chum Morning Show. Yes, as uh, of December 5th. Uh, uh, and so December 5th, a big farewell breakfast and in we'll, your honor. What's yeah. it, what's, tell us more about that. Well, we'll give you details soon as to how you can attend, should mm-hmm. you wish to. Be at the Sheridan Center. And we're calling it Flashback Friday now. We are, um, and you never know what we're going to play, do you? No, I don't. Yeah, we're making you nervous, <laughs> Mr. I'm in control of everything. <laughs> well, not anymore. Okay, Flashback Friday. This segment, the first time that Roger was in the spotlight, and you know, it didn't go well. Oh. You've never been on the stage, have you? Well, I was once when I was Howie Hood. Remember, I've told you that story. <laughs> What? No, I don't know that story. I told you that story. No, I don't think I know yeah, that was, story. It was grade 11, and I was uh, I was Howie Hood. I was kind of, I, was I the lead? I don't know. I, 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 I won't go that far. <laughs> Probably not, no. <laughs> anyway, I was to make my entrance from above. Okay, like Robin Hood, but you're Howie okay. Hood? So just imagine you're sitting in the school auditorium. I've never heard this story. And you're looking up at the stage. Yes. Okay. And and you see the the curtain going around the stage. Yeah. And I'm above the curtain, behind and above the curtain. Okay. And I'm I'm in a, like a, a a sling of some kind. And these two guys on either side of the stage, behind the scenes, are holding me. They're holding a rope. Right. Down. Well, they their arms got a little weak. <laughs> so <laughs> you started getting lowered. I didn't come crashing down, but suddenly you could see you could see the see me coming down like. Eh, eh. <laughs> I kind of inched down <laughs> before you were supposed Long to be before seen. Before I was supposed to be seen. Oh, oh. how he had. <laughs> so I, I know what it's like to okay, be on stage. Okay, now you do. I forgot that story. <laughs> First and last time on stage, I'm not sure, but that's funny. That's when I decided I, I should not be on stage. Oh, no, that's so funny. Well, before it was Act 2 that you're supposed to be on, that was just Act 1. Yeah, I'm, I'm better stuck behind a microphone where you, you can't see me. You're a great, great storyteller. Yes. And I think before. For you, say goodbye to us uh, on December fifth. Throughout, like I mean, we're doing these flashback Fridays. I know, but there's some great stories from really the 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 iconic guys that you worked with before. Yeah, but um, listen, a lot of those stories involve you. A lot of those stories have happened since you and I met. So yeah, you know, it's so it's so interesting because when I when I was hired here, how many years ago? Thirty two years ago. Um, I just remember Chum AM being Chum AM and the and the iconic people walking through the building mm-hmm. that have been there for so long. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you were part of that family before you moved over to, to FM. And uh, I mean, the the stuff that you guys got away with is amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, we had had a lot of rebellious people on here. You did. I think you were the least rebellious. I would have to say, and the youngest. I learned from them. Yeah, (laughs) but so many of some of the guys that you worked with uh, that are still alive, Mm. I reached out to you. They're 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 in the states now. Am I right about that? Yeah, I heard from a lot of people yesterday that I haven't heard from in a long time. Give me a name, like Scott Carpenter. He was a he was Chuck McCoy. Yeah. Yeah. He was a big, big yeah. announcer back yeah. then, and well, just so many people. And you know what, though. Roger? I've told you too that when I was a kid growing up in uh, Pennsylvania, um, a lot of the guys that worked at Chum came to radio stations in Pittsburgh, or vice versa, or vice versa. So mm-hmm. I'm very familiar with those names that you hung out with. So yeah. very cool. So that's uh, did that surprise you? Remember Howie Hood? Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that well. <laughs> I wasn't sure that Tom was going to play that. I didn't quite know what he was going to play, but yeah, you have oh, to talk yeah. to Tom about that. It's a All long right. time ago.